Hey, Laura, thanks for joining me today. Mm -hmm. I wanted to quickly just show people how to use the remote control and share screen feature. So I'm logged in to Boom Cards, and we're going to show you that feature on Zoom using Zoom and Boom <laughs> together, maybe for ABA sessions. So let's click on the activity of colors. And so this activity right now, I currently have control of the screen. It says white. Um, I could read that to my learner or they could read it themselves or somebody could read it to them on their end. And then uh, they could tell me it's the third box, but that would be with me in control of the screen. So that would be fine for language programs. But really, if I want the learner to be able to manipulate the mouse, then I'm going to go to remote control, select um, give mouse and keyboard control to select the participant, which in this case is Lara. And Lara, you should be able to control the mouse now, is that correct? Yes. Awesome. I can help. <laughs> yeah, let's do a couple of them. All right, stop here. So okay. if your learner can follow the instructions and stop, that's really great. But let's just say, Laura, that you're moving the mouse all around. Can you try to just, yeah, so that's becoming difficult for me to gain control of the mouse. So I would say, you know, probably give some cue or maybe need to work on that or have the facilitator available to be, um, to come right in if I alerted them through text or something. So, okay, Laura, I'm going to have you stop. And then I can go to... Uh, remote control and I can abort control and then I have control of the, the screen again. Um, there might be other ways to do that but right now it seems very hard to have two people at one time. You could always probably stop your share. Lara, you can also request um, access, right? The remote control on your end. Can you do that so I can show what the box looks like? Yes. Perfect. So I'm imagining it's very similar, same toolbar on Zoom, and you click on the like a remote control icon. Remote control, it says. Yeah. And so here it says that you are requesting remote control. Um, it does say I can regain control at any time by clicking on the screen. So let's try that. So I'm going to approve it for you and have you do like one or two more. Can you get one incorrect, please? Yeah. Oops. Can you get a different one incorrect on this same one? And see if it'll let you do that a third time. Okay. So if you have a learner that enjoys that feedback or that sound, then you may wish to turn off the sound so that it's not saying whoops each time if that ends up being reinforcing. Okay, Laura, keep going. Now if you could go, um, yeah, select the correct answer. Awesome. Correct answer this time. And if you could just move the control again all around the screen. All right, so I clicked it, I gained back access of it. So that's really helpful if you don't have somebody there facilitating or if your learner is not currently following the instruction. So that's really great. Once you requested access, it alerted me that all I had to do was click and then I regained control. So that is really awesome. Let me try to turn um, what it's like to have the sound effects. I don't know if they're, there we go. I think they're off now. And then Laura, I'm gonna give you control again and have you do um, an incorrect one. So now you can see that the sound is off, but it's still giving that image, that little bit of a feedback. So again, if that's something that doesn't really work well for your learner, or if that becomes a challenge, then you might wanna look at a different program or a different, um, you could do different learning cards within the Boom Learning software. Excellent. Thanks, Laura, for joining me today so we can make that quick video and show how Boom and Zoom can work together and how we can switch over controlled access of the screen. Of course.